What's up, y'all? Out here at the range, as you can see behind me, in a little different position, as you can probably tell. This nice shade tree's got some leaves back on it, and this sun's starting to get hot this time of year, so we're hunting for the shade, and we're taking full advantage of it. And as you can see by the title on this one, we're starting out today with another punch test. As always, the jelly contraption is out here ready for work. I got the chrono, got two freshly melted blocks of gel. As you can see, not a single test in them, so nice and clear so we can see what's going on really good. So obviously, we're using a Federal Premium Punch 29 grain defensive 22 LR, nice nickel plated cartridge and projectile there, flat nose projectile. And what we're putting up against it this time is some more bulk stuff and it's some more stuff from Winchester y'all. So it's the Winchester M22. Now this stuff is a, a 40 grain solid copper plated and it's a black coated copper plated projectile now i've had some mixed uh comments about this m22 stuff a lot of people's wanting me to test it uh some people say it runs absolutely terrible for them some people say it runs good so we're gonna see how it does out here on this test anyway either way it goes out here today i'm definitely gonna do one of those consistency tests that i've been doing on this 22 bulk stuff now for the tool today we're using the sig p322 y'all know i've been using my taurus tx22 in pretty much all of these tests this is the same length barrel so it's not gonna change any kind of variables or anything thing as far as the tool but i figured i'd mix it up a little bit since we added this p322 to the stable i'm gonna start using it some and kind of alternate between this and the taurus tx22 so all y'all sig haters out there i don't know what to tell you I, I really just don't understand the whole hate for this p322 these taurus tx22 people look i love that taurus tx22 but i'm not so blinded to believe that there's nothing else out there that could be just as good as that thing but anyway i'm very curious to see how this m22 does i'll be honest with you i don't think it stands a chance against this pump but i have been wrong in the past and the only way to find out is to test it out out here so let me get everything set up and let's get at it all right y'all i'm sure y'all know the drill by now we're gonna start out by getting some speeds on both of these rounds i'm gonna do a five round average on each one of them starting out with the federal punch first um usually these punch are super consistent between 12 and 1250 almost every single time so i'm expecting about the same out of them so let's get us a five round average y'all 1214, 1230, 1259, 1217, and 1243, right there where they always are. Let's go down there and check that average out. All right, y'all, just like I called it, the five round average on the federal punch is 1232 feet per second. I mean, you can count on this punch to be right in there every single time. Well, let's get this reset and let's see what the M22s are bringing to the table. All right, y'all, here we go with the 40 grain Winchester M22s. I've never actually used a single round of these, so I'm curious to see what the speeds are. I'm gonna guess around a thousand, something like that, but let's get us a five round average. 983, 974, 1021, 966, Ooh, that sounded weak. And 970, it wasn't as weak as the last one. Let's go check that average out. All right, y'all, so the five round average on the Winchester M22 was 982 feet per second. And if you remember on the punch, it was 1,232. So you talking about 250 feet per second faster out of that punch. Uh, that speed just equals performance. It always does with this punch. So uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not expecting good things out of this M22. Like I said, I may be speaking too soon because I've been wrong in the past, but let's get all this set up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's silver and black jelly time. We're gonna start out with the Federal Punch. Put one of them down there in the gel. Normally this stuff goes anywhere from 15 to 18 inches in this gel. So I got you backed up a little bit in case it's feeling a little crazy today. So put one down there and see what we get, y'all. All right, that looked like a good hit, although I kind of lost the track. Let me go down there and make sure we didn't come out the top. All right, y'all, that was perfect placement down there, right at the top, right of the jail. So I got plenty of room for my other tests. Gotta love it when the day starts out good like that. But I will say one thing, this punch came ready for battle, buddy, uh, into the second block. So this, this M22 is in for a world of hurt, I'm thinking. But let's see what it can get. All right, looks like I believe that went right up under it. Hopefully it didn't come out the side. Let's go down there and see what we got. All 
All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. Perfect placement on these right on top of each other so you can compare them really nicely. The one on the top, the Federal Punch, as you can see, came in. Very nice wound action on that punch, as always. Kept on trucking into the second block, and looks like it's about a uh, half inch to three quarters of an inch into the second block down here. We'll measure it here in just a second. Now, the M22 on the bottom here, it came in. I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with the performance out of this M22. Came in, made a nice wound channel off, so the wound channels between them look pretty much identical honestly uh, other than the fact that it carries further on the punch obviously because the punch carried further so m22 came in nice wound channel but uh, stayed straight now the punch stayed straight also so no tumbling what's kind of interesting on this is that punch almost always tumbles out of the tx22 and so far um, even on the other tests that i've done with this uh, tx or with this uh, p322 the consistency test i think maybe one of them might have tumbled one or two but most of them are staying straight out of this p322 now i don't know what that means i'm not sure if the i think the twists are the same on these on the p322 and the tx22 i have to take a look pretty interesting that it's staying straight out of this p322 but uh anyway like i say the m22 stayed straight also now it looks like it stopped about uh looks like about 14 inches or so on that m22 so again i'm i'm pretty impressed with the performance of this thing now did it match the punch of course not just like i knew it wouldn't now, i think we all knew it wouldn't but like i say you don't you never know for sure until you try now one thing i am curious about is the consistency test on this m22 when i go to do that because like i said i've had some people say they've had absolute terrible experience with them and some people say they've had no troubles at all um, these out here so far through the chrono and through this one seem about the same as far as power right around in the same area now they're not going to be as consistent as that punch i don't think by any means but they don't seem too bad so i'll be curious to see what they do in the consistency test but let's measure this penetration and see what we got all right so for the punch uh it actually went a full inch into the second block so you got 17 inches of penetration out of that punch as for the m22 it actually stopped at 13 and a half inches so 13 and a half versus 17 inches so as you can see the punch wins again on penetration it's just i mean it's it's second to none as far as penetration on on this self-defense 22 l all around now as always i'm not going to bother pulling the projectiles because there's nothing to see no deformation no expansion obviously because they're both solid so i figured i'd give you all a little overhead look here at the tracks but again the one on the top here that's the punch the one on the bottom the m22 as you can see both of them really nice wound action but like i said the punch carries further because it, it went further overall but there you go with the m22 sitting down there facing straight forward and then the punch like i said keeps on carrying into the second block about an inch and as you can see it's forward also so honestly pretty nice performance out of both of these rounds all right, y'all, this one was short and sweet. I mean, ain't a whole lot left to be said when it comes to the punch. The punch did what the punch does. It comes in and knocks out all challengers pretty much with ease. Just absolutely unrivaled penetration out of it. Very nice wound action. Extremely consistent speeds out of those things. I mean, like I've said a hundred times before, it's just a fantastic 22 LR round, especially if you're going to use it for defense. Now, the M22 definitely surprised me. I didn't expect much of anything out of it, just based on what other people have told me their experience with it has been but it actually did pretty decent out here not bad at all uh, the uh, consistency as far as the speeds looked pretty decent from what i can remember off the top of my head uh wound action looked really nice the uh the penetration shorter than the punch of course but not anything terrible so really not bad at all out of this winchester m22 now obviously we only ran six rounds of it so it's yet to be determined what the real consistency and reliability is like i say i'm definitely gonna put it through my little 22 lr bulk round uh consistency gauntlet that y'all seen me do in the past so i'll be very curious to see how it does in that but y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are on this one down in the comments have you used these m22s what has been y'all's experience with them like i say i know a couple y'all have already told me that they hadn't run good for you or that they have run good but let me know down in the comments what have, what kind of experience have you had with these m22s if you did enjoy the video as always make sure to reach down and hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification if you're supposed to be subscribed and want to be subscribed double check and make sure you 
you hadn't been unsubscribed some funny stuff's been going on again lately so chill, reach down there and make sure you are subscribed if you want to be check out all my affiliate links down in the video description below you know the deal with the amazon one if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first it goes straight through amazon just like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on the site i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really do appreciate that if you're looking for some fantastic ear pro check out those actual affiliate links down below these gs extremes i absolutely love these things it's getting that time of the year where it's getting ready to be some hot sweaty humid weather out here the breeze is keeping my ears nice and cool because i ain't dealing with earmuffs i'm telling y'all i just cannot emphasize how nice these earbuds are so if you want to save some pretty big money check out those affiliate links down in the description below i appreciate all my range gang members for hitting that join button as always and every single person out there who supports the channel by watching my videos by hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below like i said i enjoy hearing what y'all have to say about these tests and what y'all's experiences are with this particular ammo but this is just the first test of many out here today so i'm gonna get set up and get busy y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot more good stuff on the way and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon